Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me this Monday. I hope you're having an amazing and incredible day. Well, I got a bunch of messages from a lot of people about this new Tiana Licardio Civilibu account. Apparently she did a video about what her husband does because we've been asking forever what her husband does because how do they do this life? We're gonna look at her her information that she gave us. We're gonna see if it's true or not and we're gonna laugh probably and snark a little bit because this is the creepiest family on YouTube hands down and we cover some creepy people but these people take the creepy cake all right so let's go if you're new to the tiana licardi salibu the tiana Licardio Saboodle channel. Uh, they are a family based out of Australia who were somewhere else before that. Basically, they're called the White Shirt Family, and it's very cultic. Um, they don't. I don't know if their kids go to school. I don't know if their kids have proper educations whatsoever. I don't know if they're homeschooled. Uh, they always wear white shirts. They live in a white home. They've painted everything white. Um, at one point, her daughter came on the channel, and I did a video about it, how she was like trafficked to this guy who tried to traffic her. But in the end, we found out it was the mom who was literally selling her daughter to this guy because she wanted to get properties at him because she thought he was rich. It is the craziest story you guys have ever heard. And the fact that they remain on YouTube is actually mind-blowing. But what else are they going to do, right? They, What are these people going to do? I guess we're going to find out today what the husband does so that they can live this lifestyle that they say they lead. Now, I'm not sure if the lifestyle is correct because from what I see, it doesn't look like they live in a lavish home or anything like that. So, let's take a look at this cringe-ass video because you know it's going to be cringe. I didn't want to answer this question and every time someone commented this question, I would delete the comment. Okay. Why? Yes, I did. Comments. We know you delete all your comments. These people like have like 10 comments on their videos. <laughs> it's insanity. Uh, let's take a look. So they've got 89,000 views in this video two days ago, 1.2 thousand down votes, and they've only got 694 comments on 89,000 views. That's insanity. So they obviously sort their comments. They don't, they have trigger words and everything else, right? There's nothing, I've never seen a negative comment on their channel ever because they, they don't even, they like don't even allow comments on. They filter it so that they can look at it and then release the comment, release the comment. See, if you post a comment, it might take days for them to even post it because if it's bad, they won't post it. So that's kind of who they are. They're kind of weird, but they're not poor. Because if you look at, oh my God, if you look at Taina Licardio Toivola, uh, they have 220 million views. That's a lot of money that they've made on this channel, okay? A lot of money. Um, and as of today, they've got 970, they almost have a million subscribers. This weird ass family is close to a million subscribers. They haven't grown in a long time and their total subscribers have fallen like drastically. So if it's zero, it's not, it's minus a thousand, like they've lost tons of subscribers. But, you know, even to lose a hundred thousand subscribers takes a long time. They're not gaining anything. But in the last 30 days, they have made not even a million views. Wow, that's actually interesting. So they don't make a lot of money on YouTube. Not, and I don't see them having a ton of sponsorships at all either. Uh, so they're not making the money that she probably is gonna tell you she makes. Now, I'd say that this is probably pretty accurate, 4.9 thousand, between four and 5 thousand. Not saying that's not a lot. I'm just saying for a family of what do they have, 10 kids or something like that, that's not enough money to survive. So obviously her husband has to work or they, had savings or they were really good with the money that they did already make on YouTube because 220 million views is a lot, okay? So maybe they invested it, I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Such as, what does your husband do for a living for you to live such a luxurious lifestyle? They don't live a, oh my God, the sound. They don't live a luxurious lifestyle. They're traveling around the world, living in three-story houses. And the lake house and setting up fancy yeah, spreads of lavish Looks like those places were rentals, and didn't she, if I'm not mistaken, when they lived in Finland or wherever they were from, didn't the pastor let them live at the house or something? So don't let them fool you. They 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 are not wealthy. Some comments here that we've got. Another comment. What does your husband do for work? Because you can go to the gym anytime you want, get your nails done. Get your nails done by Romeo and Mercedes and by Romeo and Mercedes. I Holy shit. I can't. 976,000 subscribers these people have. 
That's why it's like YouTube. It's like it's a, it's a crapshoot. You just get lucky because you don't have to be good. That's for sure. Damn. Another comment. It must be nice to have a husband that provides for your big family. Oh my God. So that you can just play all day. Since I've started this YouTube channel, that has been one of the biggest questions that we've got over the years. I've been asked this question so many times because people look at our family going to different places and doing so many different things and they continuously ask, how can you afford all this? Okay, let me see. Now, again, I don't know a ton about this family, right? And if you sort by popular, their number one video is Morning Routine, Mama 10, 3 a.m., and that's 21 million views. So, you know, the next one is Morning Routine, 10 children, 21 million views, 7.3. Like, they have some massively viral videos, and that's four years ago. And so four years ago, we see all their big viral stuff is when they made all this money. And that's when they spent all the money, Right. Unless, because if they look at this house tour, real house tour, mom of 10, that's a massive house. Why don't they live there anymore, right? Did they move to Australia? It looks like maybe that's what happened. But in Australia, we've seen that they don't live in a nice area. It's very, very weird. And if she's so wealthy, why did she try to sell her daughter to JJJ over in Vegas or wherever they're from? She wanted to get property and money out of that guy because she's poor. They've, they're clearly not good with money, like obviously. They have massively viral. They have lots of videos with over a million, and then the rest is like 900,000. Now, the fact they're only making less than 100,000 views per video is really, really telling. Um, but what it tells me, again, and look, like they look like this tiny little motorhome um, three years ago that's not going to fit their entire family. Just, it's crazy, man. Like, this is nuts. So it looks like they spent, like that motorhome that they have right there, that's a, that's a $110,000, $120,000 motorhome or more. That's not just a standard van. That's a nice motorhome worth a lot of money. So I'm going to guess that they're broke, right? And they're living off the minuscule income she makes on YouTube at this point. And usually the comment continues like this, and this is a particular comment right now. It must be nice to have a good husband that provides for your big family so that you can live your life. Why are you zooming so weird? Which brings us to this highly requested video. Yeah, honey's reading it all down here because I gotta remember to say everything. Not all of you. Is that her baby or is that the other, is that, is that Sacagawea? But some of you are here because you wouldn't know what happened, Paul. That's for a living for us to be able to live, for example, in the... Are you serious? Can you go somewhere quieter, please? Please. I have a mini mansion that we live in in Finland. Yeah, so mini mansion in Finland. She just said that. I have to obviously have to tell you what she said because the blocks are smashing. I'm pretty sure that the mini mansion lived in Finland was not theirs. They got to live there. Either they paid rent or not, but they didn't own it. If they owned it, they'd be wealthy. No, Sacagawea, stop. It is Sacagawea. The one home. The one home. Where is the other kids? Don't you have 15 kids that can help with these kids? The one She's just like swatting her hand away. Oh, the one with two saunas, steam, and regular, a huge jacuzzi, and yeah. three living areas. Yeah. Oh, and that's nice. Four bathrooms with heated floors, music room. She's doing a flex right now. I have home movie theater. I find it really weird that this white shirt family that lives out in space has movie theaters and like this. Like I understand playing music, right? Every kid should learn how to play something because that's just so good for children. Um, I get they have a recording studio there and all that kind of stuff and they play music, but theaters and movies are you, I don't believe, maybe they do, but didn't they say they were vegan and then they discovered that they weren't vegan. They eat a junk, bunch of junk food all the time. So they're not really, they just lie basically is what happened. Huge entertainment area, our own bar, also our own private beach. And not Again, this is not forgetting the glass house with three separate buildings with 180 degree views of the <laughs> with young 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 because she probably said 360 views with 180 like a granny flat also a with a bedroom where we held Jerusalem's birthday party a very large sauna fire pit in an enclosed area that's a nice house I'm telling you it's a rental they probably because remember I'm, I'm going back to the fact that they made all this money the reason why you haven't seen in a little while them doing anything recently is because they spent all their money <laughs> Like, let's go through recent uploads. 
New Year's Eve lunch, which is two months ago, which is where they had that big spread, which I'm not going to, you know, food is food. So you can splurge on food. It doesn't mean you're rich at all. That's when they obviously capitalized on the Cleopatra having a baby and they got hundreds of thousands of views compared to what they normally got, which is crazy. And just goes to show you how lucrative babies are on YouTube. Yeah, so she hasn't traveled. Uh, there's the Mercedes they bought Romeo uh, first car. It doesn't look. It's not a new Mercedes, so okay. Um, yeah, they haven't traveled in over a year, at minimum. So I'm just gonna stop there because it has been over a year. So that's what tells me that's when the whole Cleopatra JJJ thing went down because she's obviously running out of money. She needed to find somebody wealthy to literally traffic her daughter to. I'm sorry, that's just no other way to put that. It's the craziest and creepiest thing you guys have ever heard in your life. She married someone she has never met before, okay, and ended up having a baby with this guy, and he ends up being one of the creepiest dudes. That's just bananas, okay? The internet already is a scary place. So they don't have any money. For entertainment, our own deck for sunbathing and stirring our boat and a private lake that I stayed on in the winter. That's cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, I decided to just out of the blue do this video. So I'm, out of the blue, eh? I'm in the toilet this morning, the block. playing because that's all I have time to do. Do you think it's just play? Can you come and get Sam Jawaya? Yeah, can you come get all the kids and get and beat it? Go take them to the private lake. Again, where they live now is not like that at all. Anoya, so she the fart. Are we going to call that Sam Jawaya fart? Do you know Sam Jawaya fart? I love it. Does she still claim that that Sacagawea baby is not JJJ's? Because <laughs> looks identical to him. So. Tell Omar what you did. What did you do? She pressed the one button to the computer. Oh my goodness, come here. Bye bye. And of course, this house is be renovated from top to bottom. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two toilets, and two kitchens. Look how beautiful we made the lounge room and kitchen look. Okay, hey, that house is tiny for the size of family. Three bedrooms? Where do your teenagers sleep? What? Three bedrooms? Do you have 12 kids? What? This is... I'm sorry. Like, I get having big families. If you're going to have big families, then maybe you should live in a place where you can house them. Maybe? Just... Just spitballing. That's crazy. That house is tiny. She's and she's talking about it as a deflect. She's like renovated, and all they did was put white countertops in and paint everything white. They didn't. They painted over the wood and everything white. It looks like a a shitty rental, right? That somebody's like, okay, I'm gonna tear it down or I'll rent it, right? And she said, hey, I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. Okay, I don't care because they don't care because it's not a nice house. What does my husband do for us to be able to live in these three houses? Mm, you don't live in three houses you live in this shitty house now why does she think that we don't see that that's right stop saying renovate you just painted shit um, and Ew. People are asking how did Paul manage to pay for a seven month trip around 24 countries around the whole entire Europe? The next amount. I'm telling you, they did that when they had the money that they made. It's in euros, but it costs us 225,000 to travel through Europe. So what does my husband do for work? What it costs 220. So they took a 225 thousand dollar trip. Is that what the van was for? Is that what it was? So the van was over a hundred thousand, and the rest was paid for groceries and traveling and gas and all the lodging and everything else. 225 thousand. And when did they do that trip? Because I'm guys, I'm just trying to tag you when they did all these trips all over Europe. I don't think they have that motorhome anymore either, so they probably sold it. So yeah, this it looks like it was about three years ago. Yeah, Switzerland, there's Disneyland, Luxembourg, uh, Netherlands. Yeah, three years ago, at the height of their view counts. Well, not even necessarily, because Ewoks in Ireland only has 85,000 views, but the first time in 22 years, Mama 10 in France, 500,000 views, right? Then they'd get 85,000 views, then 290,000 views. It was such a weird time, but this is when they're, this is the height. They made all their money and they spent it on this trip. You imagine spending $225,000 on a trip for your family? Like, are you flexing or are you trying to tell everybody that you're the shittiest person with money ever? What about their futures? $225,000 invested could do massive things because you don't own your homes. It probably, they probably have so much debt that they can't even get a mortgage, right? And their, their, their income fluctuates so much that the banks won't even loan them money. So, again, I'll say this for the last time right now. They did They did have money. 
and they look it looks like they spent all that shit. <laughs> Ten, okay. Twenty-five thousand euros. Euros. Because that's how much it costs. One comment right here. It's so nice for your husband to allow you and all the children to go to all the attractions and to eat at all the restaurants and visit all the food stands as much as you wish. I know this is expensive because my husband and I took my took my three children to Europe and we were broke after that. Takeout was so expensive in Oh Europe. my god. We actually went to twenty four different countries such as Estonia, Latvia, what was that? What was that thumbnail? Lithuania, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Austria, Hungary, Slovenia, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, Luxembourg, Belgium, Netherlands, United Kingdom, Ireland, Okay, we got it! You went, you toured Europe! Denmark, Sweden, and also our life in Finland. Drew and myself and Omega also went to India, but there's more. In one of their thumbnails, I said they were vegans. They're eating lamb. Lamb's not vegan, yo! Mung beans, Philadelphia, and kidney beans. Philadelphia cream cheese? You're just eating a brick of cream cheese? Is that what they're eating there? Okay, hey guys! Not just those three houses and the trip around Europe, but did you consider the day-to-day -day living? It must be very expensive considering that there are 12 of us. So what does my husband do for work? So just answer the question! She's going through all the shit that they spent all their money on, which, okay, thanks, because now we see that you're dumb, but just answer the question, you weirdo. To be able to cover the following bills, considering he is a father of 10 children. When you need to cover the following, rent, food, electricity, gas, petrol, water, if we go over, health insurance, dentistry, and orthodontics, D'Artagnan's Invisalign is costing- Why are you saying this? Who, why are you flexing that you spent all this money? This is so weird. This is weird, man. 12,500 alone. That's Australian dollars. Needs such as nappies, toilet paper, etc. The house Wi-Fi, mobile phone bills, going to the gym for five people, the pill service person, storage of our artworks, which isn't here at home. Oh, so maybe they invested some artworks. Quarantine bills for 11 people. Do what? Just visits, car registration, and... But you've lived in socialist countries. Australia, pretty sure, is socialist as well. And so is Finland. Is Finland socialist? Yes. Public health care is available to all permanent residents in Finland. So they live in socialist medicine countries, so they don't have to pay for doctors. Road bills for two cars. It costs our family 16000 Australian dollars a month just to cover the basics. And that Holy shit! What?! That's not forgetting the extras like spare money for going out. Fixing They're eating cream cheese. They're just eating bricks of cream cheese. Just bricks, bricks of cream cheese. Is that? I mean, I mean, cream cheese is delicious, I guess. You know, servicing the car, vitamins if we need any that month, nails and hair, the four theme parks that we love to visit, and what if we want to eat out, guys? Do you like right. to go eat places? Yeah. Yes. I've calculated how much it costs for one person to eat out, and this is in Australian dollars, and it comes to approximately $27.85 per person, and we are trying to save when we pick from the menu. Yeah, well, you're feeding kids, so I'd say $27.85 for adult. Kids' menus are way cheaper, though, half that, if less than half that. So if we want the cheapest breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it would be $14.35 per person. Of course, the older ones would have to pick something dearer and bigger. Usually the cheapest drink on the menu is around about $4.95. And when we eat out, it's nice to have a dessert and- Drink water! The cheapest one usually is around $7.95 Australian. So that's how it comes to around about $27.85 for one person to eat out, and when they just answer, who cares? I want to know what your husband does, man. Not counting Sacagawea, it goes over three hundred dollars. That's a big bill when we go and eat somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because you guys are growing, we've always got the shoes and the clothes and everything else. That the clothes? You mean the only thing they wear is white shirts that you can just pass down to the next kid when they grow into them? Most of your kids look like they wear the same size. You probably buy them shits in bulk. Here, I get my shirts at a place called Wordens, and it's great because they have these really nice shirts. Anyway. 
they're about three dollars a piece. If you buy them in bulk, if you buy them by the hundreds, it's like two seventy five a piece. No kidding. So your kids only wear one thing. So it's not like you're spending a ton of money on very expensive name brand clothes. They have blue jeans and white shirts, and they're like children of the corn. You continuously keep buying more white shirts and blue jeans. So what does my dad do for work? Who has to be able to do all this? Living in all these houses. Why do they keep repeating it? Why are they now you getting the kids to repeat it? Yes. Are you sure? We're ready! ready for this? I'll tell you what my husband does for work to provide for his family. This has been the big question since I started my YouTube channel. Do you guys not get super creepy? I know I'm blanking the kid's face though, but they're sitting there with dead eyes and smiling like this. And that's that's creepy. Okay, I'll tell you what my husband does for work. Nothing. For he doesn't do anything. This luxurious lifestyle. My husband does nothing. That's right. Nothing. He does nothing? Okay. Yeah. You built all that shit up to say your husband does nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Nothing. This is like, you guys ever seen Sound of Music? <laughs> it's like the kids with the whistle. I am Liesl. You know what? I'm Franz. I'm the one who hates people. Yeah, we noticed. Paul has not had a job for five years. Five he years! A job unless he gets a job that he wants. So then you ask, who paid the trip around Europe? Who paid for all those houses? Who paid for this renovation? And who the paint. Just call it paint. You painted. Stop calling it a renovation. I mean, technically, you painted. I wouldn't call, like, hey, I painted this room, so I renovated it. No, I painted it. Painting shit white is not a renovation. Who pays all the monthly bills that are very expensive for a family of 12? Mom does! Can you hear the crickets? Yeah. Me. I pay for them all. Oh my god. I'm going to be answering so many questions through the rest of this video, which I know that are coming up in your mind right now. You've already. No. They all Yamaha guitars, yeah, even nice guitars. Okay, so here, let me tell you what the heck's going on. They made all the money because they have over 200 million views. 200 million? Let's say 20 million. Look how many videos they have. Holy shit. They have made bank, though. Yeah, 220 million views, and they've been on since 2014, so they've been around for quite a while, almost 10 years. And they've made, I mean, in 220 million views, I'm telling you they've made eight figures. They've made over a million, if not more than that, okay? They've made over a million, if not two or three million dollars. Trying to think, maybe even more. So she says she paid for it. What she's failing to tell you though is that she didn't pay for it. Her kids, who everybody came to watch, paid for it. By exploiting children online, she made millions of dollars. Now, they might have tons of savings because even a trip around the world, let's say they've made safely three to five million dollars. Okay. $225,000 trip around the world, whatever. Okay, cool. They still have money. Those houses, that, those homes that they lived in, the rent on those places are very, very expensive. She says sixteen thousand dollars for their monthly expenses, not where she lives now. She for a three bedroom home where she lives now is probably likely. Let's just say market rent now twenty five hundred bucks. Okay, let's just say that. Okay, so she's not spending sixteen thousand dollars because these kids don't have massive. They don't. I don't think they're in sports. I don't think they're in elite athletics. They probably don't have a ton of tablet time. They probably read and color and stuff. So they probably, they live a very crunchy lifestyle, which is very frugal for most people. So they still do traveling. They still buy Mercedes for the kid. They probably have a bunch of savings or if they bought a bunch of artwork or they have some kind of investments somewhere. So she's still continuing to live, but she's not making anywhere near the money she used to make. Three or $4,000 that she makes on YouTube alone isn't going to pay her bills if they're $16,000. i am saying her bills are likely around eight to 10000 I'd, I'd safely put that there, but nowhere near 16,000, especially in this tiny house. So either they spent all their money because they lived in lav they lived lavishly for a few years and thought that YouTube would continue, or they invested and they live within their means based on their investment, which could be very well true. But then why sell your daughter to JJJ and ask them to buy you property unless you're just greedy?
seen lots of videos through this video so if you're new here i've linked all those videos down below but are you now ready for a lot of those answers that you want i remember one of your first questions being what does my husband do for work to be able to we already got it he doesn't do anything i think the correct question should have been diana what do you do for work to be able to afford the three houses you don't have three houses stop saying that renovate this house travel through europe and pay all the monthly expenses so is she saying she has three houses right now is that is that the going thing because i doubt it so 12 people i still to this day pay all the bills and now i don't get any welfare payments or any government assistance for all the children so you ask diana what do you do to be able to provide for your husband and all your children that is the question. You are watching me do my job right now. That's I vlog my children for money. That's right. You are at my workplace right now, and my job is here on YouTube. It's flying around somewhere, and you're watching it. That's what Cliff just said the other day. Yeah. Isn't it weird that we mm -hmm. do our job, and it's, like, not anywhere. It's... it's not weird that you exploit children for money. Lots of people make tons of cash by exploiting their children. That's where you make your money. That's what she's saying. I do, I regular, I do regular parenting, in a weird ass crunchy cult way and I film it because people watch me because we're weird. Somewhere flying around. Yeah. I can do a video showing all the other jobs I used to have before I used to be a YouTuber. It feels so weird to call myself a YouTuber, but it is what it is. I film and edit for YouTube, so that makes me a YouTuber. The reason You edit these shits? Cause you're bad. We don't receive any welfare payments even though we've got all these children is because I earn too much here on YouTube to receive any. Nope. Or, I, I mean, the cutoff is probably, okay, so welfare, she's saying, we don't receive welfare because I make too much. Now, the wealth, what's the welfare cutoff in uh, Australia? You and your partner must have no more than 5,000 combined readily available funds. This means, this includes any liquid assets you can sell. Liquid assets include cash you have in hand. So, they have over $5,000 in their bank account. That's what she's telling you. She doesn't receive social welfare because they have assets. And they make probably around $5,000 a month, I'd say, on YouTube. Maybe a little more if they're lucky. Well, what do they say? Almost a million views? Okay, maybe a little more. So, like, maybe they make about 10000 to 15000 a month. So, she still makes pretty good money. Depending on how many how many ads get hit and how long her videos are. So, so they make good money. Also, the reason that Paul can't receive a pension or any benefits for his eyes is because I earn too much here on YouTube. And that affects his income. So, so yeah. She makes... Okay, I'm wrong. So at a million, at almost a million views, and that's the last 30 days, I'd say, okay, maybe they're doing about 10,000 to 15,000 a month. Okay. So that's why they can't get social security anyway. Can't hear anything you're saying there, Banks. Can't hear anything you're saying because your kids are sharpening pencil crayons. I'll be honest here, guys. Throw some clip out your room here. When we put the first videos up, I didn't even know that you could make the income from YouTube. I didn't even know. It's just so many people asked me about my life and they said, write a book. I'm like, I'm not writing a book. No, well, but, obviously you can't read, so. All right. I'm not writing a book. <laughs> and uh oh, they're going to sharpen said, another pencil. Make a video and then you can watch it. I thought, okay, I'll make a video. I made a few videos and you know, life change. And after everything, would you believe it now that I run my own business and I actually have six people working for me? I have six people working for me. There's no way she makes enough income to do that. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Do they have a massive platform somewhere else? How many do they have on Instagram? I don't see them doing ad sponsorships or anything like that. Man, I, some, I, I might have gotten this wrong. Maybe they do make a bunch of money. They're blue check marked. They have 158,000 subscribers on Instagram. So here's her socials. Here's her click her link. Just takes you to my social. Oh, it just takes you to YouTube. Oh my god, just takes you to YouTube channel. That's it. So weird. Do they have a tick they don't have a TikTok? And okay, their daughter's in like a bikini all over the front. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Maybe six people meaning probably she pays for six of her kids? A stay-at-home mom. That's amazing. So after doing all the filming and editing for the last five years, I have finally asked six people to work for me. And they are here, Patrick, Jerusalem, and Romeo, plus three people from the UK. Okay, so her three of her kids plus three kids, three people from the UK. Why do you need six people to work for you? You don't make that many views. You don't have that much content. 
Hi guys! I still edit most of the videos myself, but I send about two or three videos to the UK because it gives me more time with the family and they edit them for me instead. My plan is to... More time with the family, so get your family out of them? Okay. ...and every single YouTube video over to the UK and never have to edit a single video again, apart from maybe one in the comments that I feel like I want to do it because it's a sentimental video. At the end of the Europe trip, I started teaching Claire Thatcher how to edit, so she's edited about 30 videos out of the 600 that are on the channel right now. 600 videos. So, at least that's the beginning. When YouTube started, Jerusalem used to read about 3,000 comments a night. Oh. At least 10,000 a day. So, Jerusalem used to read 10,000 comments a day. Correction. 10,000 in one day. Every morning I'd wake up and there'd be another 10,000. So he's admitting I have 10,000 comments per video, which now they, they just filter. And so they're just deleting shit. But don't you go to school? Like, you you know how long it takes to read 10,000 comments? So do these kids not have it? Like, again, somebody tell me, because I don't know. Do these kids go to school? They have educations? How do they, what do they do? And then after I clean that 10,000, it all just come back overnight. Oh, so they flag 10,000 comments, then release the ones they want. That's what I'm saying. They, you'll only see a few. You only see good ones because they filter them all. So they say no comments, and then they filter them. So he does ten thousand a day, and probably I don't know five hundred make it on their channel every single day. Wow. So the reason I decide to hire other people is because it takes so much work to do a YouTube video. Where are you so zooming? Simple. If you film for one hour, you need to edit for three hours to make that video perfect for YouTube. So if you film for three hours, it takes about nine hours to get the video done. So that's why it's nice to have other people working for me. I can just film it and just send it somewhere else. It's so nice to have other people working for me, but I have to say honestly that it doesn't come cheaply, but it's a price that I'm willing to pay to get time for my babies. I, th I think they'll be fine. <laughs> Probably worse off, not gonna lie. Paul is not business orientated by any means. I'm the let's get it done, let's make a date and time for right now. I've been the manager and head director of numerous businesses over the years. I don't believe you. So her husband apparently does nothing and is not a business oriented individual. So are you going to tell us what he does do? Does he at least help out around the house where he's not in your videos? What is this guy doing? Is he in the CIA? What's happening? So tell us what he does do. Do you want to go to sleep? Just lie down here. Can you move the pencils? He's going to have a lie down for the picture. Watch them go sleep in his room. Do these kids sleep on the floor? Yes. Take his paw. Okay, just have a sleep right there. Paul, sir, let's walk away. Not now, not ever. Paul used to work as a local something. He's had five different jobs that I can remember him talking about. A local something. Over the years. Two of them were voluntary. Do you want me to do a video of what Paul used to do as a living? I remember. Why you do it here in this video? When we first started YouTube, some people thought he was a Colombian drug lord, a <laughs> cult leader, but he's a- Cult leader, you're the cult leader, not him. He's the cult. He's like, what did I do? What have I done? Yeah, and then you're a gold digger. Yes, yes, sir. I got called the gold digger because I married the rich old guy. So the answer is he old? The answer to your question is Paul has not paid a single cent in the last five years for the three houses that we lived in. Could you imagine a guy saying this if his wife was a stay at home mom? Right? Could you imagine? So my wife is a freeloader. She hasn't paid a cent of the bills, but she, you know, raised our children and everything else. This sounds like this guy at least helps out around the house or else why would he be there? Okay. He does some things. Okay. Probably, but he fixes the house up and shit. So could you imagine a guy saying this? No, it sounds like you guys are partners. He allows you to exploit these children online without saying things. So that's some permission. Um, also that's gross. If he does help, then he's owed the money too. What a gross thing to say. Renovation of this house, the trip around Europe, or any other monthly bills, which is to this day still. Do you know Beyonce's song, Independent Woman? I can sing that song and mean pretty much every single word of it. Not every word, but a lot of them. Oh my God. You know that song, Independent Woman? I can sing all the words. Okay. 
Is she, does her husband know that she's saying this? Is he behind the camera? What's going on? Is he like, what? Is he just sitting there listening, being like, what the f is going on here, man? This made this, she made this so much weirder. If it's possible for the Lucario Tovoilas to get weirder, she did it in spades. Oh my gosh. So I get up at three o'clock. I've got up for years, three o'clock or earlier, because I work my ass off. So does the dad really not do anything? He doesn't help with the kids, nothing? What? Is he prisoner in this home? What is going on? Is he alive? Is it like weekend at Bernie's? Is he on strings and shit? What is, then what does he do? Are you going to say he cleans? Does he vacuum? Does he cut the grass? What does he do? Is he... Uh, I'm just saying. Maybe he's really good and bad or something. I don't know. I work my ass off. And for everyone... I mean, clearly he's fertile. So maybe that's what he's around because he's a sperm donor? I to think that Paul paid for everything for years. I thought... I'm not going to say... Why? Anything. I'm not going to say anything. And Why are you zooming weird? And letting you guys know. So this is why I get up at 3 a.m. every single morning or earlier is because I work my ass off. And I don't make excuses. There's no excuses. I go to the gym at 3 a.m. every single day. 3 a.m. The gym. <laughs> so Paul, or the husband's name, likely is doing something if she's at the gym by herself. At least he's watching the kids. So there's something that he does. Thank the Lord. Unless it's the kids who do it. That's seven days a week. Even on my day off, I go there and I walk. I do a full body. I mean day off. Day off from what? Stretch and then after that, I'm going to read the word of God. Or I listen to the word of God in my ear. Work God? The work God. The reason I go on my day off is because I don't like to break the routine. If I'm always getting up at 3, I want to continue that. Do you go to bed at 5.30 or after supper or something? And I often wake up before 3 o'clock. So I'm often getting dressed and then my alarm goes off and then I go and take the 3 o'clock alarm off. On my days off, after the gym when I drive home, we usually just pack the lunch that we packed the night before for breakfast, lunch and make it dinner. And then we just put it in the car and we take it somewhere nice. So on my days off, I still do the gym, but I don't do a workout. I just do a walk, stretch and read. I do give my body that time and it's just a normal gentle walk for about 30 minutes a gentle stretch but no workout on my day off it's nice to stretch on my day off why couldn't you do this without everybody in the room? I don't get it. Can Paul watch the kids? Even on my days off, I need my 3 a.m. to do my daily. I somehow, have you noticed, if I ever take a day off from getting up at 3 a.m., I'm not normal in the morning. It's like I can't yeah. do my day. Mm -hmm. have you <laughs> yeah, you're a crazy bitch. Notice that? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I need my 3 a.m. to do my day. And once we've moved to this house and we've got a security gate that needs to be opened, at 3 a.m. when I go to the gym, Paul opens the gate for me and shuts it and he goes back to sleep and he wakes up right about 6. Poor dude has to wake up at 3 and let his wife out. <laughs> Damn, man, you can't open the gate yourself. So, so Paul likes to sleep in. I know many of you will have the question on why doesn't Paul wake up? I think it'd be to not ask because I can't give you an answer on that. So if it doesn't bother me, don't let it bother you. And there's no point in writing about it in the comments because I think I'm doing a pretty good job for providing for my husband and all my children. Nobody asks. You don't have to throw him under the bus be like, you know, he, that's what you want. Just say what you want, but don't be like he's a loser and doesn't do anything. That's what this whole video sounds like, you weirdo. And this whole family of twelve, so just leave the job to me. Those of you that have been watching us for years know that Paul's blind in one eye and he can see forty-five percent. He's blind in one eye, and he only has thirty-five percent vision in the other eye. In his other eye, and he doesn't do very well around dust because it bothers his eyes. Well, no wonder. Why don't you start that? Here's how this video could have went there, weirdo, white shirt, blondie. Bang face head. My husband doesn't work because he's basically blind. So there's not a lot of jobs he can do because he's blind. That's all you had to say. You didn't have to throw him under the bus. He does nothing. He sucks ass. He doesn't do anything. Are you kidding me? No wonder it doesn't work. 35% vision in one eye and the other one is blind. Okay, well then we can all be like, okay, well that makes more sense. You idiot. 
Don't go to the beach. It's too bright in his eyes. That's why you won't see him at the park or at the beach. Let me get the straight. <laughs> Not making fun of his blindness. He doesn't like bright things. So you paint your entire house white. Awesome. That makes total sense now. He, <laughs> he doesn't like bright shit. So our entire house is a beacon of light. And also I can that he doesn't want to go on outings. Mm -hmm. Paul likes to be at home. Yes, guys? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, would you want to hang out with her? Our jobs that Paul could do, but he is who he is, so let's just leave it there. Yeah, let's leave it there. Six years of being married, I just love to leave it. Bye bye, go sleep, please. Why is that kid get to go sleep, but the other one has to smash his face on the the couch? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And for anyone who thinks that Mark my husband is going to go and get some therapy from a place where they help blind people find work. You don't know my husband at all. My husband is the type of person that will never, ever go and get any type of help for blind people to help them find work. Why? Are you throwing people under the bus who do that? What are you talking about? Social programs in place for people like that? Because that's equity. That's fair. That's awesome. If you're blind and you have a place that can help you, you wouldn't take the help. Why? What are you showing your kids that you shouldn't are you telling your kids that you don't, you should, you should never ask for help or you should never give? That's selfish. What are you saying? This guy's weirder the moment the keep, keep saying it. Let's keep, weirdos? Or unless she's lying about him. That could be another thing. So don't bother sending any links because he's not interested. It's going to not be interested in working. Would you be if you didn't have to do shit all? Would you be? Can he drive? Are there videos of this guy driving with 35% vision in one eye? Because if that's the case, oh shit. Kind of nice doing all the future videos. When you see our family doing something really nice somewhere that costs a lot, you'll know that my husband didn't provide it and that I worked to pay for it. And also Jerusalem, Cleopatra and Romeo. And we're also teaching Shakespeare and D'Artagnan to work for the channel. If you Shakespeare and D'Artagnan. If you want to, I could maybe look at doing a video on what kind of jobs I used to do before I got married and after I've been married. It's sharp! Before I was a YouTuber. It's sharp, man! So you must think that if Paul is not financially providing for the family, that he must be a rock for me and the children providing help in other ways yeah. in the house, like... So if you didn't hear that, so if you think that he doesn't do anything, he's a rock for the family, he provides help in other ways. Homeschooling the younger five children or helping clean yeah. or maybe making food. But yeah. we have to definitely tell you that that is not the situation. It is definitely not the situation. <laughs> Are you serious right now? So if you think he helps out around the house or is a rock for the family or helps school them or anything. Nope, he doesn't do any of that either. Okay. What? What are you saying here? Paul does nothing except for open the gate for you in the morning and then go back to bed? What? That's not, it's not true, right? Isn't there videos of him, like part of the 3M wake up call that Paul does a bunch of shit too, right? There's no way that she's saying this right now. She's lying. She's gotta be lying. Who would keep around a dude that literally doesn't do anything? I have homeschooled the children for the last 23 years. And he has never helped out with the homeschooling. I may sometimes ask him to do a puzzle and some blocks with the children, but that's it. He has never helped out with the homeschooling. He has never helped out with the children's music in any way whatsoever. Five of them have finished homeschool and gone to college and TAFE and whatever else, and they have got two careers. And the five little ones are only left, so Shakespeare, Nefertiti, King James, Aphrodite, and... Uh, King Jace? And I homeschool them totally. I've driven the children to every single music lesson, and I've sat at home and made sure that the lessons happen, but he has not helped... So basically, this guy does shit all. I mean, you probably can't teach children music anyway if you can't see music. So I kind of understand that. Can't really teach children either if you can't see. In any of those areas. Everybody at home is on the jobs list apart from Paul. Everybody is on the food list at home except Paul. So everybody has chores, job list. Everybody has a food list except Paul. 
all our children help out with making the food and myself and we take turns making them. It's Except Paul. It's much more nicer to receive a meal that has been made with a happy feeling and it gets handed to you with a happy feeling. Hear this. This is getting real culty. It's much nicer to have food handed to you with a happy heart. She's telling you that Paul doesn't do these things because he's not happy. He's, is he evil? What? And it's culty because Paul's like the patriarch of the family, even though she says she's the one who makes all the money and then she's throwing him under the bus here. But it sounds like it's very culty and like it doesn't matter what he is or how shitty he is. We have to serve him because that's what our cultish religion calls for. Is that what's going on? I am concerned about multiple things. And I know that maybe some of you have studied when you receive food that has been made in a happy way, given to you in a happy way, it's more healthy for your whole body. You've got to call you. What a stupid comment. Imagine your kids are eating. Dad, were you angry when you were making this? Yeah, why? Because it tastes like anger. <laughs> How? I don't know. It just does. What? Is that why my fast food tastes like shit because no one likes to work there? I do the cooking, but he doesn't do it anymore. I use it as an opportunity to teach the children real life skills so they don't just learn from books. They actually know how to cook when they leave. Paul can't drive a car, so he can't run around. There it is. Paul can't drive a car. Thank. There we go. Okay. Parents for the family. Paul isn't business minded in any way, you so he can't make phone calls or answer emails for us. Well, he can't answer emails because he's blind. He can't make phone calls? What is Paul's problem? What is going on, man? This this video, all this did was bring up more questions. Way more questions. It's just something that he doesn't really care about. I asked Paul to clean the pool leaves out and to water the grass. He also does that. Shakespeare? Oh no, Shakespeare falls in a pool too often. How many times a week does Shakespeare fall in a pool? Are you saying when a kid falls in the pool? That's probably really dangerous. And why are you saying that on the internet? They could die. Two, three. Would you like to see a video on what Paul does? Yeah, today? I do. Yes, I do. I would love to see that video. I don't know if he's going to want to do it. I'll ask him if I can just film him doing it, and then I'll just want to play him. And... You just said he doesn't do anything. So what are you going to film him doing? Sitting on his ass in a rocking chair? What is he doing? He cleans the leaves out of the pool? That's what he does all day? He opens the gate and then cleans the leaves? Nah, man. Something is, something is, uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Usually when you see him in videos or on my Instagram post, you'll see him doing what he usually does, which is play on his latest mobile phone that I bought him. But he's blind. How does he play on a mobile phone? Probably the text is like this big. <laughs> see that everybody loved the dad of 10 night routine only Mondays, which I filmed in Finland. It was the only night of the entire week that he had all the little ones for six hours. And he didn't have them any other night. We tried to Okay, so that's, she just said it. Okay, so Monday night was dad's night. And she just admitted it because I think I saw that video. And I was like, the dad did some stuff. So she's like, oh yeah, you might've seen that video, but that's the only time he ever did that? Or Monday's the night he does that stuff? Are you saying that for that video you did it, so you lied? Or is that what he does every Monday? work out for him to do them other nights but it didn't happen he did such a wonderful job on mondays the children loved it it went really well thank you for that paul i will <laughs> be sharing more about the morning day and night routine we are going to do that video i'll share a little bit about our routine right now every morning the children and i sit and have a business meeting from 6 30 to 6 45. the children sit down and have a business meeting and we just check that everything's happening for everyone in the house because in this house is cleaning, homeschooling, and also this is a work area, so we make sure that everybody's taken care of. We have meetings on the weekend, but we have that little quarter of an hour to make sure that everything definitely happens and we have another meeting at night. I'm going to read a private message that a lady sent me on Instagram. It's easy for you to just sit around at home and homeschool your children when your husband, when your husband is out working and providing for the whole family so you don't even have to have a job she keeps saying the same comment over and over again in different ways we get it you made the money but don't forget everybody she's flexing that she exploits her children her content is shit 
So she just got lucky. I don't know. She went viral for a couple of those crazy videos because everybody's like, Mama 10 morning routine. I want to see that. That stuff went massively viral. 21 million views on that. That shit made hundreds of thousands of dollars, those videos. So you d stop saying that you're like a hard worker. You film what you do during the day. I'm so happy that you all know the truth out there now. So all you wives and husbands out there, you can do it by yourself. And you can't say any more, Thona. You can do it all because your husband is a big help providing for the family and helping out with everything. You can do it. There's no more excuses. Now you can have joy because you can do it on your own. This woman needs to be put in an institution. I'm pretty sure that most of you don't have 10 children to take care of. Just Whose fault is that, lady? Wake up early, remember to go to sleep early also, work and provide for your family, maybe run your own business, keep your house clean and do everything. Oh, what'd she say there? Then do it on your own. I'm pretty sure that most of you don't have 10 children to take care of. Just wake up early, remember to go to sleep early also, work and provide for your family, maybe... I forgot to mention that I also ran two small businesses from home. For one, I sold makeup and the other natural oils. That was separate. So she was an MLM person. Great. They, it's K. This is it, man. Every I, I almost want to say that almost every single family vlogger or mommy vlogger that's out there before they did this were shilling for MLMs. We know that specifically uh, Beastins. We know that Bits of Brie did it. We know that I'm not sure if, if uh, uh, Giant Hands... What's her face did it? Um, I know specifically some of them still do it. We know that Love Meg did it. And if they don't do it, then they do it later when they build up. Like Priscilla from Fathering Autism. She built her platform off her daughter, then started shilling for MLMs. They all fall into this MLM bullshit. That's where they all start. Doherty Dozen, MLMs. Remember 21gifts.com or whatever it was? They all start there because all these people are always looking for the easiest way to make money, right? People who fall into these traps of MLMs are always like, they don't understand if it's too good to be true, it's often too good to be true, right? But, and they're looking for an e like, what's the word? They're looking for easy money and they always fall into these schemes. And then when they finally land on easy money, they, all their freaking Christmases have come at once. It's like winning the lottery. Man, that's, cr it's crazy. Run your own business, keep your house clean, and do everything else that your family needs. This is good for a lot of parents who feel like they can't do it. You're a douche. Yeah. You can do it yourself. If you don't have someone helping you that's there, you can do it. And I know many of you are thinking right now, oh, but you have the older children there helping yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. I knew that would come up. I've got an answer for that one also. Oh, do you? got it written down there in your computer? You're creepy. I, I get creepy vibes. I'm going to go as Tana for Halloween. I want to let you know that years ago when I had five children, aged one, four, six, and eight, I was at home by myself from four o'clock until nine o'clock when Paul was at work. I was at home with five... You said he hasn't worked in five years. Then you said four years. I might, I might have got that wrong. I had younger children and I had no older children to help me out with them. Yes, but Paul was working then. So what? What are you saying? You weren't... <laughs> she's such an idiot. Plus, she's been on YouTube for more than five years. I wonder when her shit jumped. Okay, this is... She's lying. There's all, so many holes in the story already. Because Paul was at work. But the you just said he... Okay, so... Okay, let me get this right. So when Paul was working, you had to be a mom so you don't have a mom. Great. Cool. But you're flexing that like he wasn't working, like you were still making all the money and you weren't. Then when Paul didn't have to work because you guys hit it big on YouTube, that's when he no longer had to do anything. And then you started making the money. So that's five years later when you have 15 year olds. So yes, you did have older kids to help out. You damn liar. Thing is, I was at home with five children while I was also working two jobs while Paul was at MLMs are not real jobs. Stop saying that. You don't get to say that I was working two jobs. People who work in MLMs are not working real jobs. That shit's not real. And that's how they sell you on that stuff. You can still do all the things all day. Imagine making 20,000 extra dollars a month doing selling some shitty oils to people because it's like downline email. It's not a real job. Stop saying it's a real job. She's lying. I was taking care of the entire house because we would only see Paul on Sundays because he worked the entire week. Now, Paul didn't work from 4 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. Now, Paul did not work for that many hours, but remember, he can't drive a car. So it took him two hours to get to work and two hours to get back from work. 
So that's four hours of traveling. Paul makes bad choices. Don't blame us. Four o'clock in the morning, he would walk to the bus. He'd hop on the bus, get to a train. From the train, he would walk again to work. He'd do his work day. Couldn't find a closer place to live there. Then he'd walk again to the train, train to the bus, and from the bus, he would walk back home. So he was gone for a long time, but I was with the children all day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, cleaning. That's what lots of mums do. Take them to swimming lessons, dancing lessons. I did everything. I did the brushing of the teeth, the flossing, the cleaning of the house. We get it, man. But he was working then. So you hear what you're saying here. You're like, I do it all now and I make the money. Then you weren't making the money. So stop lying. Because this is her answer to you have older teenagers to help out, which you clearly do now. Everything was done by me, plus I had two jobs. So even if Cleopatra, no. Jerusalem, Romeo, and D'Artagnan moved out, I would still get it all done. I would still wake up at three o'clock. I would do everything exactly the same. Do you know how? Because I've already done it 20 years ago. Yeah, so she just admitted her kids do help out. And obviously they do. I already did it 20 years ago. That's how I know I can do it, because I've already done it before. So she's admitting she doesn't do it. I did it before, I can do it again. Well, you've aged a little. A lot. A lot. Right? You're getting up on Biden's level there. Pretty soon you're going to have cataracts as well. So, chill. Your bones can't handle this. Did you hear that? 20 years ago, I... Repeating this on purpose for ones you have... Because she does! I mean, what is she saying? What the, the, answer, the question was... Do your kids help out? And she's trying to say that they don't, but they do. Because she's saying, even if they weren't here, I could do it. But they are there. You dumbass. No other children. Husband was at work. I had two jobs. Oh my God. She just keeps repeating it. Over. Homeschooling and keeping the whole house clean. Mind you, I did teach my children how to clean the house. Oh, but they didn't help. I also took them to swimming, music, and dance lessons. There were other lessons. I know you all have loved this video. We have finally come to have we? the end. I know you've all been waiting for one person, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Where is Paul? Where is Paul? At the moment, we are putting up three videos a week. So if you have enjoyed this video... And yeah, where is Paul? ...and you'd like to be notified of other videos, See the little bell there? If you could just press that. No joke, that little kid in the middle, he's out cold. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> there's like drool. Button, it would notify you of future videos. And in those videos, I'm going to be sharing about all those questions that you've been wanting to know. We are finally getting to all the questions on who has done what job, highly requested videos on Cleopatra's how to take care of her hair, makeup routines. I'm going to be doing some homeschooling stuff. Everything is going to start coming. So press that notification. No, don't, don't. I'm done. Listen to this crazy ass weirdo. Holy shit, that was weird, right? What? is that so that whole video can be summed up in two minutes my husband's blind maybe he, did she, did he get injured at the work five years ago or something doesn't work anymore and you know i do everything even back in the day i did everything but you didn't work and make the money and so then he paul sucks at everything he doesn't do anything anymore and even cooking he he can't cook unless it's with anger and hand me meals that made with love what the f happened you are weird that's just there's no other way to put it. This is the weirdest family on the internet. And don't forget, then trafficked her daughter to a stranger in the US where they came in through Mexico because COVID weren't allowing people in. I'm telling you, this woman is going to end up on a real crime podcast someday. That is the weirdest, is the weirdest shit you have ever seen. I'm going to break down some of her old videos. I got, I got to find out more about these people. Like, this is getting really crazy. How did he go blind? What's going on? Jeez. But everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> you guys are nice. Real nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, super nice. Like, hey, what's up? Nice hair and stuff. Whatever. You look great today. Those jeans. The snowsuit you're wearing. Just fabulous. <laughs> but guys, thank you for being here for these great conversations and these snarky moments i guess what do you think of these people leave a comment below what do you think right they're weird but you're not weird you're amazing incredible and valuable don't you ever forget it don't fly flare don't fly american airlines don't watch their shit okay but stay classy stay beautiful and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>